Hello, this is John from caveofprogramming.com. In this tutorial, we're going to start looking at pointers in C++. This is a language feature that is um, that you don't find in too many other computer languages, and uh, it's, it sort of baffles beginners. But we're going to take it slowly here. We're going to start looking at pointers in this tutorial, and we're going to move on uh, in subsequent tutorials and look at more stuff that you can do with pointers. So let's let's declare an int here. I'm going to say int. I'll just call it n value. The n just standing for integer, and uh, I'll assign it a value. Let's say eight. So here we've. You can think of this as being like a bucket that we've put a value into. It's uh, we've allocated some memory, and the amount of memory we've, we've allocated is controlled by the fact that we've got an int here. And uh, of course we can change that. And we can set the value to something else and so on and we can output it. Let's try that. Um, and let's say int value and n value. Oops, need to put to operator there. Let's just check that this works. So um, yes, I want to save it and now it says int value 9. Uh, now you, you can actually you can actually get a, you can actually create a variable that stores the, the address of this um, int um, rather than the value itself. So to do that, I can type int and I'm going to type an asterisk here, like that. Uh, so we read this as uh, int pointer or pointer to an int. Int pointer is kind of trips off the tongue faster. And because this is, is a pointer, I'm going to prefix it with a P. You don't have to do this, but um, it just helps make it clearer that it is a pointer. Let's say P. I could put N for int as well if I want. This is just stuff just to help me remember what it is. So PN value. Now I can set that to point to the address of this int by typing equals and a um, ampersand which uh, you can read as address and n value. So I'm saying here um, pointer to an int equals the address of n value. So what's actually stored in here is, is not an int, it's not this value. It's the address, the memory ad address of this bit of memory here, this int. And we can output that as well. Let's do that. Let's say um, here pointer to int address, let's say, address. Now let's output this pn value here. So if we copy that, paste it in there, save this and run it, then we get a memory address in hexadecimal. So it, this is just a number, the ox just says it's hexadecimal, as we saw in a previous tutorial. This is a number in hex, and this is the memory location of that int there. So what, what can we actually do with this? Well, these are very useful in C++. They have a lot of different uses, but one thing we can do is get back the original int. So let's paste in another C out here, like this, and say int value via pointer. Now, if we just put the actual pointer variable name in here, of course, we're going to get the address again. What we can do is something called dereferencing the pointer. And to do that, we just type an asterisk in front of it. And this gives us the value that the pointer refers to. So let's try this. And when it runs, we get eight. So we've got several bits of um, like notation syntax here. Here we're using a star, we're saying int star, or like another way to write it, which um, maybe is nicer, but depends on your preferences really, is to put the asterisk directly before the variable. That's, that also works. So we're using the star here to, th this is the type of this variable. So the type of this variable is, we read it from uh, from right to left type of this variable is pointer to an int. 
And then we use the uh, ampersand here to get the address of a value, in this case an integer value. And then here, if we want to output the value that the, that the pointer points to, the actual um, value at the memory address, which is contained in the pointer, we use an asterisk just before it to dereference it. So this gets us the actual value that the pointer points to. It gets us the value stored in the memory address, um, and we've stored that memory address in the pointer. Um, it's uh, the, the easiest way to understand this is just to practice using it, because uh, I find you can read explanations of this, and um, it's really hard to remember which asterisk and which ampersand goes where. It's only when you use it and you type it out that you really start to get a feel for it. Let's look at one thing in this tutorial that you can do with this that's um, sometimes quite useful. Let's declare a function up here. So I'm going to say void and we'll call it, um, let's call it, um, oh, I really don't know actually, I'll call it manipulate. And let's make that take an int, so int value. And what manipulate will do is we'll just say value equals 10, like that. And let's do a C out value of int in manipulate. And let's output that value there, endler. So um, I'll output here, let's output some just text, just to separate this stuff out a bit. And then I'm going to declare, let's have another int in here. Let's say, in fact, let's, let's maybe use a double just to demonstrate this with some, something else. Let's say double value, and then we can say value is 10.0, value of double in manipulate. So I'll declare a value, a value here, a double, let's say, um, let's say D, D value, that'll do, set it equal to 123.4. And then let's output this value. So let's say uh, D value, I'll put a one before this, one, D value, and we'll output the double value there. Then let's call manipulate, manipulate, and pass it that double value, d value, like that. And then let's output that again, and say d value again. So we're, we're declaring this double here, and we're setting the value of it. We're outputting that value, so we expect c123.4. We're calling manipulate, we're passing this double in. And that actually sets the value to something else and it outputs what that something else is. And then we're outputting the, the double value back in the main function again after manipulate. And if we run this now, we're going to get in main, uh, so the double value starts off at 123.4. One, in manipulate, we change it to 10 and then output it. So maybe we can make this actually a little bit clearer by putting another C out in here. Let's say here, two, three, and I'll make this four. Let's run this. So when we run manipulate, to start with the values 1.2, 1, 2, 3.4. In manipulate, we pass that value in, it comes in here and we output it. So again, at two, it's 1.123.4. Then we change it and manipulate to 10, and we output it again, and then it's 10. And when we output it after manipulate in the main function, it's 1, 2, 3, 4. The reason for that is, when you pass a value like this into a function, um, it's, it's like pouring, pouring data from one bucket to another. We're actually copying this, we're, we're copying the value um, in this double here, copying it into this value, and in this function, we're changing this value. We're not changing this. We're just changing something that happens to contain a copy of that value. So this here is a new double. And when we call manipulate, we pass that value in. We're just taking this value, 
putting it into this copy and changing the copy so that when we get back into the main function when after this manipulate returns our, our, our original double still has its original value the fact that we check we change the copy of it here doesn't make any difference to it now usually that's what you want and it, it makes things simpler to have functions behave like this but sometimes you want a function to be able to literally change a value and uh, there's another way of doing this in C++ called reference variables which we'll look at but um, one thing you can do is to use a pointer let's change manipulate so that instead of taking a double value it takes a pointer to a double so I'm going to type here an asterisk so now the type that we pass in here is pointer to a double and if we compile that it's not going to compile um, because now we have to pass in not the value itself but the address of the value because pointers contain addresses of values literally memory addresses where those values are stored so we need to type here a, um, an ampersand to get the address of this so now um, we're, we're passing that in and now we don't want to assign it a value 10 because this will contain the address of this if we assign it a value 10 we're saying okay change this memory address to 10 which is pointing at some random bit of memory and we don't want that here we want dereference value so I'm going to put an asterisk there and that says change this says change the value that this pointer points at so actually go to that bit of memory and change it now um, let's I think we can try running that let's try running this so now we see that um, well, I've got value of doubling manipulate we've got the memory address let's change this to dereference the pointer as well I, I should have probably called it p-value really just to emphasize that it's a pointer I think that'll make it a little bit clearer let's do that and now let's save it and run it so now what's happening is we get the double we output its value so 123.4 we pass the address of it to manipulate that stores it in a pointer variable it stores the address of our original double in this pointer variable we output it we output not the address but the value at that address which is 123.4 we change it to 10.0 by dereferencing the pointer and changing whatever value is stored at that memory address we output it again we output the dereference pointer so the value at that address and it's of course it's 10 now and then back in the main function we output the double value and now it has changed because we actually went to the address and changed the value so in this version of the program now there's only one double we don't have a copy of this double um, what this is is the address of the double there's only one double and this pointer points to that double it has the address of that double and we can use it to change the original value stored at that address uh, so that's it for this tutorial and um, I'd highly highly recommend uh, that you practice this yourself so just do what I've done here uh, first try typing out a value whatever you like could um, you know tr tr maybe try an int or a double that's probably simplest and um, then try declaring a pointer to that value and um, like this and try using the pointer to change the value so of course we could change the value here using the pointer as well you know we could say um, star pn value equals some int like that try doing that sort of thing dereferencing the pointer and then declare a function that um, takes a pointer as its parameter and try passing your um, the address of one of your values in your function to that to that um, function try changing it in the function and see what you get afterwards so try to do all this and um, try to do as much from memory as possible but you, you're pr almost certainly going to have to refer back to this uh, to remember it but try to look at it as little as possible and see how far you can get you'll probably find if this is new to you that you'll make a lot of mistakes in getting this to work you probably um, you know it's uh, it's not too difficult to actually do this bit 
um, but you probably need to refer to this before, a few times before you can do it from memory. And then this bit, when you actually pass a value to a function and that function actually changes the value by using a pointer, that's a bit tricky as well and you'll probably make some mistakes first time you do it. But um, it's, it's very, very good if you can get to the point where you can type out this code and you can create functions that take pointers and change the value of the variable using that pointer by dereferencing it from memory. Because once you've done that, you've really got not such a bad um, uh, feeling for pointers, I think. So uh, that's all we're going to do in this tutorial. And we'll look at pointers more in the next tutorial. But um, yeah, it's, it's good to practice this because we're going to get, we're going to do more stuff with pointers in subsequent tutorials and it's going to get more complicated but not much more so um, so don't worry and uh, once you've understood this you can really kind of give yourself a pat on the back because this is something that defeats a lot of beginners a lot of people know C++ uh, to a point but pointers is the point at which they sort of give up so it's really worth persisting with this and I'd say don't agonize about it too much the thing is to um, get your fingers to kind of remember it, remember what you have to type where in order to get this to work. And then the understanding sort of tends to come later on. So until next time, happy coding.